If you regularly deal with the same customers or suppliers, you can create contact records for them. It's optional, but it means that you can track how much you can sell or buy to and from each contact. There are two ways to add contacts to Sage Business Cloud Accounting Start. In this demo, we're going to look at how to manually add a contact. More information about how to import contacts is available in Sage Business Cloud Help. To view your existing customers or suppliers, at the top, click Contacts. There are two main options to add new contacts in, and in this example, we'll add a new supplier. Any fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory. In this case though, it's only the business name that you must enter. In this example, we'll keep it nice and simple, and we'll say that Sage is one of our suppliers. You can then enter any other details for the contact. One option we do recommend you complete is the default category. This is the category that will be used when you enter transactions for the contact. Don't worry if you're not sure what to choose at this stage, as you can override the default when you enter transactions. In this example, we'll just choose one of our overhead categories. So we'll choose 7,500, which is office costs. You can enter any other information about the contact in the notes tab. Once you're done, click save. The new contact now appears on the list and we can enter transactions against them. We'll quickly set up another one. We'll enter a business name, so we'll just call them MC Cash and Carry. And as this is one of our main suppliers, we'll just leave the default category set to 5000, which is cost of sales for goods. The new contact appears on the list and you can start to enter transactions against them. If you ever need to view or change any of the details, just open the contacts page and click on the relevant account. 